Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation. I mentioned in my haul video that I wanted to do a review for this foundation. So, if you guys would like to see my thoughts and views on this, then be sure to stay tuned. Alright, so where can you get this foundation? You can pick this foundation up from Sephora or Makeup Forever's website or Sephora's website. I picked up mine from Sephora website. I believe it was about $42, probably about $45. It was somewhere in that price range. I have the exact price in the description box below. But you can pick this up. It is a pricey foundation. However, it is very, very worth the $45 that you spend on this foundation. So, hopefully by the end of this video, if you guys, those of you that have been thinking about getting this foundation, but you're not sure if it's worth the money, then hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will... No. Let's talk about the packaging of this foundation. Alright, so it is a clear packaging down here, but it has a black top. This foundation on it, it just has Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation, and it has um, Invisible Coverage Foundation down here at the bottom. And on the back, it just has like more details about it, like to shake it before you use it, and other things like that. It does have a top, which is very convenient because you just pop the top on, take it off, and it does come with a pump. And I was just saying the top is convenient because sometimes foundation pumps and everything like that can get very messy. So tops are very important with this, but it does come with a pump, as you can see here, which is also a plus for this foundation because you don't have to pour it out on your hand or just pour it out on your face or however you apply your foundation you can just pump it which is a plus so i love the packaging of this the only thing about the packaging is that the actual product if you're looking at this product here it's not actually true to its actual color when you pump it out on here it is just a tad bit lighter in the packaging than it is it is the same packaging it's just that because it has two layers of glass here is kind of altering the color a little bit but it's not that big of a difference as you can probably see the actual color of this foundation i picked up this foundation in the color 170 just for like reference wise with other foundations in mac i am in the nc45 and with revlon color stay i am in 370 toast and any other like foundation references i'll leave them in the comments below so you guys can compare the color selection all right so my experience with this foundation the first time I applied this foundation was in my Nicki Minaj and the Conda inspired makeup video and I it was the first time I applied it. I applied too much so it came off a little too light and I was like oh no I paid $45 for this foundation and it was completely the wrong color. But I, I applied too much. I'm just going to say it. a little bit goes a very long way with this foundation. You do not have to apply a lot to get a full coverage with this foundation like you would have to do with other foundations so that is a plus for this foundation the second time i used it i applied just a little bit i applied about three pumps for my entire face and i used a sponge to blend it out and it gave me such a flawless natural finish that i just felt absolutely in love with this foundation yeah it does give you a natural finish it does give you a flawless finish and honestly this foundation literally lasts all day i applied it from noon when i got ready to leave and then when i came back and went throughout my day I, I ended up not washing my makeup off until after midnight that day because i was doing so much and the foundation still looked flawless which is rare for me because i do have oily skin and my t-zone and sometimes my chin so a lot of times the foundation tends to leave around my chin and this is where i mainly have dark spots at so they start to peek through the foundation but honestly that day it did not peek through that foundation so this foundation literally lasts all day long and it gives you such a flawless and natural finish that it just looks like your skin all day long so i think that it is like an amazing foundation for that reason because it's really hard to find foundations that does that all right so what does this foundation claim to do so i'm just going to read a few things off of the back here um well i'm not going to read it i'm just going to get the information off of here all right so it says that it gives you an invincible natural makeup finish which it does like i stated before that wearing it just gave me such a natural finish it actually looks like my skin I just, 
I love it. <laughs> I love it. It gives you like glow to the skin. Now with the glow to the skin, I normally, I would say it does give you a glowy skin. But honestly, I have naturally glowy skin. A lot of times my cheek, the highest points of my cheek runs in like this area of my forehead is like always glowy. I've always had like glowy skin so that part is not really like something that i was kind of looking for because i knew it was going to give it to me regardless because that's just how my skin is but i normally when i did wear this i sprayed it with i sprayed my face with max fix plus after i applied my moisturizer and before i applied my primer and then i went in with this after i applied my primer and it did give me a glowy finish now i don't know if it was just my skin the fix plus and the foundation or if it was the fix plus alone it honestly didn't look different from any normal day with my skin so as far as the glowy like i said i don't really know because my skin is like always glowy so <laughs> don't really know with that one it says it is usually smooth and elastic texture makes it easy to apply and a pleasure to wear and it was really really easy to apply like I said when I first applied it I applied too much and it was like on me that wasn't the actual product's fault but it doesn't feel like you have much on I do wear this foundation to class and I know sometimes I get a little bored and touch my face in class I forget that I have makeup on but it doesn't come off on my hands or anything like that so it is like a good foundation to wear to school like every day like or if you're going to be touching your face or something like that it is a good foundation for that because it's not going to come off on your hands or on your paper and stuff like that it does live up to all these claims like i say i'm not really sure about the whole glowy thing because of how my skin is but other than that it does live up to its claims it's an amazing foundation it doesn't claim to be a long wearing foundation but that is just something that came with after me trying it out my experience with this foundation of it being a long wearing foundation so it is a long wearing one so as far as the application process i applied it with two different things in this video all right so what i did was i pumped out about three pumps on my hand and i used the brush this is the buffing brush from real technique and i just applied three pumps on here and just pumped it on here I used all three pumps on just this side of my face and I don't know if it was the brush that absorbed it or what but it did give me a flawless finish and as you can see it neither one of the sides really look that much of a difference both of them both sides have flawless finish and full coverage and it doesn't look cakey or it, both sides look natural so um, using it with a brush really didn't make that big of a difference. Like I said, I applied it the first time I did use a brush, but I used too much, so that was on me. But using a brush really doesn't make that big of a difference from using a sponge. However, with the actual product, I had to use about six pumps using just the sponge. Because what I did, I pumped three out on my hand, dipped the sponge in here, and applied it to my face. I was only able to do this part of my face. I did it three pumps again, but this time I went ahead and tapped it on my face in certain areas and went ahead and then whatever else was left, I went back in with the sponge. As you guys can see from the demo that I have over here on the side, that's basically the only difference is just the amount of products that you have to use from using a sponge and a brush. Now, if you dab it on your face, I would say, you know, do the three pumps dab the three pumps all over your face and use the sponge to blend it out all over your face and it's still going to give you a flawless finish it's still going to give you a natural finish it's just that you're not going to be using it as much as pressing the sponge in here and then applying it to your face because the sponge is absorbing it so you're going to end up having to use more product but with this you only need about three pumps three at the most and with this one you're probably going to need about three if you dab it but if you stick the sponge in there you're going to need about six so depending on how you apply it final thoughts on this foundation i absolutely adore this foundation i think this is one of the foundations that i'm gonna keep around forever and a lot of celebrities wear this foundation other than kim kardashian so it is a very popular foundation and a lot of people have this foundation a lot of people love it a lot of people use it for every day and i can see why so honestly my thoughts on this is an amazing foundation it gives me a natural finish it's flawless finish and 
I don't know I'm just like absolutely obsessed with it I look for foundations that don't break me out for one and I look for foundations that like give me like a natural finish and this is one yeah I have only been using this foundation for about a week and a half but that's enough time for me to know whether or not this foundation is going to break me out of course you can tell like the finish and long wearing and all of that within the first wear of this foundation so do I love this foundation yes do I recommend this foundation yes so definitely go get it if you're looking into higher end foundations and you want to look into getting one to start out with this will definitely be one that I would recommend to put your money into if you have it so yeah so those are my thoughts on this foundation I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you can let me know by thumbsing up this video also have you tried this foundation let me know your thoughts on it in the comment below and if you haven't tried this foundation are you interested in getting it after watching this review let me know in the comment below I hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.